Haya Hamalka is a unique French Israeli artist who combines tribal elements from various cultures in her works. Here's more from her exhibit in Tel Aviv. It's something from beyond, and I love women. I believe in women. I think uh, peace come, uh, will come from women. Healing is always from women. Haya Hamalka is embodying her name on the canvas. With a name meaning the queen is alive, Haya is raising consciousness with divine feminine art. I was uh, in the healing field, so I studied a lot of things about the Kabbalah, the sacred geometry, the esoteric acupuncture, naturopathy, shamanism, uh, heavy meditation. So all this is like an extension of my work. Her new seven painting series is being displayed at the Tribal Art Gallery in Tel Aviv. It's called In the Magic of Seven because, uh, okay, it's seven uh, chakra, seven energy, seven women, represents seven different women. Uh, and also seven is like seven notes, seven colors, seven uh, oceans. Haya uses burlap coffee bags as her canvas, creating a multi-dimensional texture and feel to each work. And it's the first chakra. For the first chakra is connected with red and it's connected with foundation for survival. The three generation here, it's like the downward, you know, pointed the downward, this one the upward, and this is the middle. So it means like balance. So this is the mother, this is like the, the grandmother, and this is the daughter you see with the moon. It's called the blue moon, but this one is connected with the, uh, the throat chakra, about speaking your truth. This is the second chakra, it's orange, uh, it's uh, uh, connected with sexuality and with creativity. It's all like um, uh, universal because it can be, people are saying, oh, it's Mayan, and I see Native American Indian, and or oh, African, and it's Berber, actually it's Berberi uh, uh, symbolism. This one is connected with the heart chakra, and all this uh, sacred geometry is connected with India. It's called the Sri Yantra, and it's connected with, the, it's the sacred geometry of the sound Om. Om is the, 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 the sound of creation. It's the woman of light. It, this is about crown chakra. This is the energy like above the seventh one. So it's gold, it's white. Similarly, Haya also has a trilogy of paintings that metaphysically tell time. This is like connected with the Kabbalah because you see the letters and you see if you pay attention, the letters are like uh, not uh, completely like a normal in a normal way. It's like a reflection is backwards. So, and it's mixed with sacred geometry, Islamic sacred geometry that you see in mosque. This one is called the Wheel of Time. There is a meaning because it's like all mixed and it means like uh, when it's mixed, it's like a world of possibility. So that's why it's about future. A future that tribal art gallery owner, Dr. Galia Duchin Ariely, hopes will celebrate the common spiritual roots of art from cultures all over the world. The connection between the traditional art and Chaya's work is like a, the most natural, <laughs> the most natural that uh, you can imagine. And it's the same as the, what you see here, for example, this one named Ujama. It became from the word, from the sentence, I am because we are. So it, it shows all the past and all the future and all the, the present people that combines together and they are like a tree. Emily Francis, I-24 News.